So Kling AI video, actually in Chinese is pronounced Kling. So Kwai Show, it is one of the social media, a very popular social media platform in mainland China. The AI video model, Kling, got a lot of noise around recently. As you guys have seen recently all around YouTube and Twitter, there's lots of people post stuffs about this AI video model, short video generated result from Kling on Twitter as well. And lots of English YouTube channels did reported this. But all they did, I would say they are all just reposting other Twitter messages showing you guys on their AI news YouTube video. They might come to this official site, scrolling around show you the demo videos, or read other Kling users' text prompts on Twitter and showing to you guys their results. That's why I haven't talked about Kling last week, because I was getting an account from Kwaishu anyway. Oh sh. So, in this video, I am going to talk about Kwai Show Kling, with real practical demo result showing you from my phone. This video are going to be trying out Kling AI models together, going into Kwai Show Video Editor app, which similar concept like TikTok have cap cut. So, you will be not going to experience the same video content that you see from others. Let's try out Kling AI video together. So, here's the app. This is the Kwai Show Video Editor. You can see the QR code from official site. Once you scan that, then you are able to download this. So tap in the app, you can get started running. There's some banner advertising and announcements. We can ignore those. On the right side, there's a floating blue icon. This is the AI generate feature, which uses killing AI video here. Then we see the Panda animations banner. As you can see, the blue buttons with red highlights are for creating text to video content. Below that, we have some demo videos shown in their press release and on their official website. You can click the Create Videos button to enter a panel where you can type any text, and the AI will generate videos for you. On the left side, the blue highlighted button is for text to video, which we are currently using. The right side with the dim color button is for the image to video feature, which is coming soon. So let's test something. This is the first time I'm opening this AI video generator. Everything is fresh for me as well. First, I want to test out an English text prompt to see if it works, especially using natural language input. Let's check if it works with English. So far, I've seen demos from other users showing that you can input an English keyword or a short phrase into the text prompt without any problem. But let's see if a full English text prompt works. Now we click the black generate button and wait for the result. Here we got the return error message. It says we need to edit our content and try again. This means they don't support full English text prompt input for the text to video feature. This is bad news for overseas users. If you have access to Keyling, you must learn how to input in Chinese. Otherwise, you won't be able to use it even you have a phone number access. Let's try out a pure Chinese input text. As you can see, there's a random keyword below the text prompt box. I just clicked on that and we are waiting for the generation. In the video generation history, you can see that I got the Golden Bridge video and also the Superman video that I generated. Let's check out the Superman video first. Now this is awesome. The quality is very good. All the outfits and background elements are consistent and coherent. Let's check out the other video I generated, which is the Golden Bridge. It's supposed to be Superman flying across the Golden Bridge, but it looks like a bird in the generated result. I'm not happy with that. However, the far shot of the Golden Bridge simulating a San Francisco view is kind of nice. Let's wait for the result and see. These AI videos are pretty fast. The generation time took about three minutes each. There you go. We have our new generated result. Let's check out the full screen of this one. It's pretty smooth like the sea view. A lady running on the beach holding a flower. It follows the text prompt and the running motions. Although it uses slow motion in these videos, everything stays consistent. The clothing, color, t-shirt, and shorts maintain consistent styles without any deformations. One thing I don't like about this result is the face, which is not perfect. It's not a very detailed face recognition generated in these AI videos. Still, I give it a pass. It follows the text prompt instructions exactly as mentioned. Let's go back to the app itself. 
There are other AI features besides the AI text to video generator. There are features like animate anyone, face swap, comics generator, and more. These are similar to research papers we've talked about in previous videos. We use stable diffusion workflows for animated styles, animations, or even simple text to image features. They are all included in one app. And that's very convenient for a lot of users who do not have technical backgrounds to set up the comfy UI, download all the models, and understand things like checkpoint models and LoRa. These are examples of their enhanced versions of Animate Anyone. It is way smoother and more detailed than the open source Animate Anyone framework that you can get on github.com. Let's check out this example of the Stoneman dancing. Look at that. The quality is better than what we saw the non fine tuned version of Animate Anyone. Let's wait for another video example in the AI text to video section. I want to show how long it takes for the whole generation process. In the meantime, I will show you around to give you a feel of how it looks. This is pretty fast. For each video generation, it took exactly 3 minutes to generate one short clip. It's way faster than Luma AI, which we mentioned before. That one took about half an hour at the fastest time. Well, can't compare, because two companies are totally in different scale. In terms of resources, network infrastructures, capitals, and Kwaishu even without AI features. Their platforms serve over 13 billion users only in China. And don't forget they have overseas version for Asia region as well. Here's the result of the new video just generated. This is Superman fighting with a dinosaur in an urban city. In the text prompt, I typed San Francisco and fight dinosaur and the city catches on fire. So far, the whole video output is following the text prompt, putting the fighting background scenes of Superman and the dinosaur in urban cities. It looks pretty funny that it uses the styles and themes of Godzilla in this video clip. It's kind of funny. As you can see, my looping backgrounds in these videos that I'm showing right now include some gaming lookalike scenes, but they were actually generated in Keeling AI using the same text to video features. Performance wise, it's really fast compared to Luma AI. The quality for realism style is better than Luma AI other styles. They both have similar quality. So other than that, I'm waiting to see how Google, Vio, and Sora AI are going to perform. I know that Kaling AI is going to add more features after this first release. They will have extended video times, making each video longer length, and there's a consistent setting like a seed numbers in stable diffusion to keep the videos in one style consistently. So we are looking forward to see what's happening in the AI video models market. Right now it's on trend and we are going to see something cooler and better than Stable Diffusion 3 this year. I know lots of you are so disappointed about SD3 and how stupidity AI did, either am I. So I would say there's a lot more newer and better diffusion model who can replace stupidity AI for this market. We can keep with SD 1.5 and SDXL and forget about their newer shitty things because they are not the stability AI we knew before. So I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.